in the book, The Mindful Athlete, George Mumford touches on a, a quote by Bruce Lee that says, as you think, so shall you become. And that's one I really took to heart from the book. Um, you know, in the past, I was always thinking about the things that I shouldn't do. And, you know, the disappointment if I don't do this. And that made that become my reality. Whereas now I'm thinking about the fact that I'm going to win. I'm going to stomp this trick. I'm going to get a high score. And, you know, now that that has become my reality. My name is McCray Williams. I'm 26 years old from Park City, Utah. Back in 2014, qualifying for the Olympics, I put a lot of pressure on myself. You know, I'd, I had done all that I wanted to up to that point, and that was just kind of the next step. Free skiing's Olympic debut. I was thinking about the disappointment if I didn't make that team. I don't want to disappoint my family. At the time, I was 24. Would I get another chance? Hales from Park City, Utah, site of the 2002 Winter Olympics. And uh, I'm really impressed with this kid all the way around, Mike. Yeah, the one thing to note about McCray Williams is he is the only person in this field here today that is not going to the Olympics. The U.S. team is so competitive, McCray not quite getting the nod through in the qualifying rounds, but he is looking good so far here today. Nice double court 1080 to kick things off. Into the left side, double court 1260, McCray Williams upping the difficulty here a little bit through the jump section and very, very clean. So far, so good. Can he finish it off? One, three, switch. 14, I believe. Whatever it be, there's so many different things that can can throw your mental game off. And in the past, I feel like that's that's been one of my weaknesses. It's just letting those obstacles get to me and kind of bring my mental state down. Last fall, I received a care package from one of my sponsors, Lululemon, and in that package was the book, The Mindful Athlete by George Mumford. There's a lot of athletes out there that can dedicate their success to mindfulness, and, and every great athlete, I'm sure, well knows that your mentality is really going to shape your reality. It's a big turning point for me, just focusing on preparing mentally for the contest day rather than physically when, you know, the body will follow. New tour always kicks off our season out in Breckenridge. Walked away with fifth, top five, super stoked on that, you know, top American going into the season and, you know, it's something I can build off of. That whole week, I was just trying to stay positive, think about winning. Things ended up going my way that weekend, my first World Cup win. Huge confidence boost going into the season and going into X Games Aspen the following week. After that win in Farm Romeo, I was just feeling super confident, skiing super well. Ended up qualifying thirds, making the big show. Always a, a bit of weight off the shoulders just to make that final. And another member of that stacked field who already has won a gold medal in this competition. Done so in team. Slopes out to McCray Williams. The only one I've seen yet this far doing the backside to so the hard way, the line side. Here he is coming through the road, then doing the switch up, blind side the other way on that rail, showing both directions. And there's the big disaster, switch 450. Starting it off with a double cork 12 tail grab on the first jump, coming into the switch, right side, double cork 10, spinning both directions. And here on the final jump, we saw him do something big. Whoa! The switch, triple cork 14 40, safety. Gets it perfect. And the crowd certainly elated with the Gray Williams final jump. They call it the money booter because oftentimes checks are cashed on that particular piece. A huge opportunity to impress the judges, and he Whoa! does it. 93 3 3, up into first place. Stopped my first run, got a 93, and ended up in second. Oystein came down and snagged the win from me last second, second run, but you know, super stoked for the kid. He's been slaying it, and obviously just being up on the podium. Uh, again, an Aspen was an honor. So shaping up to be one of your best comp years yet. What do you attribute it to? Uh, mindfulness, just you know, staying positive, positive intent, visualization. Just uh, you know, 
have fun out there and, and let it be. So with Mammoth being cancelled after Aspen, we had a little bit of time home, time to kind of reset, enjoy some pow, and then pack the bags and head over to Europe for a few weeks of contests over there. To no surprise, we had some, some weather rolling in for the weekend, so things were bumped up again and you know, we had to limit our practice and get right to qualifying the second day of being there. all jazzed up in the finished corral, super stoked to end up in second place, We're all congratulating each other and next thing I know Conrad comes up and tells me I've won the globe. Yeah, yeah, we came here last year uh, in first place coming into this event with uh, the hopes of getting the globe and I had a bruised heel, getting shots in my heel. One of the not so good experiences of my life. And, didn't end up getting it, so that was a, definitely a disappointment. And to you know get redemption here this year is uh, unbelievable. In Norway, we had kind of a tough course. Things were super icy when we showed up. It was tough to break it in. A nighttime contest, so we were under the lights, super cold. Uh, I was able to squeak through the qualifier and get into the finals. He wants that top spot. If he wants to do it, he's got to put something down right now. 360 tail grab, nose tap, right side, 270 on, 270 off. Offing to move over to the fence rail. We see the same, it'll be a 270 on, inverted 450 out, and he gets it. Looking over the right shoulder, now coming in to the first jump of potentially four. And going massive on that switch right side, double 900. Here's the left side, double 10, both. Barely basic doubles as far as they go. And needs something big here on the tail end to capitalize. And goes for the switch. Double 14. McCray Williams stomping that run. Did the run I wanted to. Landed it. Got a decent score and sitting in third place. Uh, with James Woods, the last guy to drop, and he you know, bumped me off the podium last thing. So, yeah, gonna just take it as it is and uh, move on to the next. Sierra Nevada is a pretty meaningful place uh, for me to begin with. I've been there a handful of times before, and uh, it's just super cool vibes down there. But yeah, once again, conditions were skeptical, our safety was questioned, and uh, you know, there was a lot of debate uh, between the organizers and the riders and a lot of just conflict going on and you know a lot of distractions so I really try to just separate myself from that and just focus on me and what I could control and, and not let these things bring me down and, and remove myself from the competition like a lot of the I think a lot of the other riders kind of did. <laughs> Finally, you know, we're done with all the big stuff, all the you know, big, important, high-pressure contests, and uh, I decided to head up to uh, Andorra, another you know, favorite place of mine. Ended up taking second place there, just behind Alex Hall, who's absolutely been on a tear. You know, in the end, we're just looking to get out on our skis and enjoy shredding with our friends. So I was stoked to finally get back to Park City, some warm spring weather, uh, just shredding Park City and, and Brighton for the last couple days that they were open. Ride the iron horse with a fresh
pair of Delta Force with a rope chain looking like it was dipped in gloss. Nefertiti peaks with the creeks, leaves, of course. My name play looked sweet, but the bomber was butter soft. To top it off, I had the fresh pair of gazelles. I passed on the dust. The Jack D had my eyes blurry and damn near shut. But just enough to see my man Sunny Green beside of me. My brother Cool seeing and Rod Smokey. The flunkies laid out on the seats. Made pillows out of news week Before we blink the train Holt in the streets It's our stop Time to be out My brother screamed out We all flee to the corner store The cop three stouts Police leaned out their cop car Flashing their beams like we stars Acting like keys was under our arms Harassed us Then he moved on A bunch of bastards I swear to God I walked through my block I labeled it Vietnam We build this a trenches Filled with soldiers that be pitching Five O's The enemy see they relentless POW for drug possessions it's like slugs from out of weapon fiends and casualties left to the essence that definite scene of shorty i crept with as it was on the night she said the jam and 107 talking whatnot she bugging because my eyes are bloodshot she said get there early so you don't have to rush for a spot and when we got there she was rocking cats popping and locking <laughs> so sonic fog don't stop and man i don't dance i b-boy stance sunny green roller CeeLo getting their cash and getting they ass and kid had the proud wildin when he flipped on his back electric boogie break dance grab a stick in the laugh ain't the half couldn't have been more stoked on the season that i had especially at this time you know i'm 26 years old i'm i'm at the point where i'm starting to think about the end of my career and yet i just have like my breakthrough season so you know, super stoked on that, feeling you know, the most confident I ever have, feeling like I'm skiing the best I ever have by far. And the rest of this is just kind of the, the icing on the cake and uh, got a good feeling. So looking forward to seeing where the next chapter takes me.